Hello, I'm Philip Reeve. I'm the author of Mortal Engines and Goblins, and I've just written the new Doctor Who story called The Roots of Evil. Well, my favourite part of writing the book was going back and looking, at, but for reasons of research, at some of the old episodes of, of the, the old Fourth Doctor stories. And um, I hadn't watched these since they were first broadcast back in the late 70s. And I'd been afraid that they might be a bit ropey, that they might not be as good as I remembered. But actually, they were fantastic. They, they really hold up very, very well. And um, it was also really nice to be writing dialogue at last for Tom Baker and Louise Jameson, um, even though I only got to hear them say it in my head. Enjoying it? You said I had to keep it going up and down. I thought it was part of the magic. Magic, you know? Magic? I know, I know. There's no such thing as magic. Exactly. To the rational mind, nothing is inexplicable. Only unexplained. My favourite Doctor Who stories as a child were always the ones that were set on uh, far-off planets and in the distant future. I didn't really like so much the ones that were set in the present day when you had Daleks and Cybermen invading um, present-day London, for example. Um, it always felt a bit too scary for me. It was a little bit too, too edgy because it could actually happen. You know? Whereas if you were in the distant future on some strange planet, um, that, was, uh, that, that was slightly more comfortable. But also, there wasn't a lot of science fiction and, and fantasy on the, the telly or available generally to me as a, as a, a, at that age. And so it was fantastic just to be able to sit down on a Saturday night and be transported to this, some, some strange distant world. And of course, when you got to the strange distant world, it would turn out to be an old gravel pit or an industrial estate somewhere and all the corridors would be made of cardboard and gaffer tape. But that didn't matter uh, because it was, it was like the building blocks and you, you used your imagination. Well, the Doctor Who story I remember most vividly from when I was young is called The Talons of Wing Chiang, and it was set in Victorian London, and there was lots of fog and giant rats in the sewers, and the Doctor as a kind of Sherlock Holmes character investigating all this. But of the ones that I watched recently while I was writing this story, um, the, my favourites came from the period when Douglas Adams was the script editor, and there was one particularly called The City of Death, which is set in, in present-day Paris, or in 1980s Paris, and uh, it was just fantastic. It's hilariously funny. It's got a really nice, intricate science fiction plot. It's great. Seek it out. Watch it. Uh, Professor Lightfoot left a message for you, sir. He did? It says he'd like to see it at the mortuary straight away. It does? He's still there, sir. We found another body outside after you've gone. What? Another Chinese, sir. Just outside. Very convenient. Very mysterious, sir. You wouldn't know anything about it, I suppose. Of course we do. I was resting. Come on, Lena. Well, the book I've written is called The Roots of Evil, and it's set on um, what's basically a vast living space station built around a single huge tree which hangs in orbit above a, above a dead world somewhere in the distant future. And the Doctor and Leela arrive here and start exploring. And as they, as they explore this strange place and meet the people who live there, they start to realise that they're kind of being expected. The, the, the people who, who inhabit this place have been waiting for the Doctor. And the whole thing has basically been built as a kind of a Doctor trap. The sprinklers will release Dianane, a deadly poison. Within 10 seconds, everyone in the city will be dead. Except you. Exactly. I do not breathe air. No, but this chap at my shoulder, he breathes air. What? Kill him! Don't be a fool. God, kill him! <laughs> Good throw. I didn't really watch Doctor Who as a young child. I came to Doctor Who very late because people say that children like being scared, but I hated being scared and I was always very wary of anything that I thought was going to be too frightening for me. So I didn't start watching until I was 11 or 12, until quite late in the Tom Baker years. Um, but all my friends at school used to watch it, of course. So I was aware of Doctor Who and I can remember being about five and everyone in the school playground, all the little boys in the school, being involved in this huge game of Daleks, just this vast army of them all marching around going, exterminate. Um, and I used that memory in my first book, Mortal Engines. I, made, I put a little, so I gave that memory to one of the characters in there and uh, people thought it was a clever reference to Doctor Who. But actually, it's just an actual memory of real life. If I could travel with the Doctor in the TARDIS, I think I would want to go back to 1978 and tell my 11-year-old self that one day I would be writing a Doctor Who book and he would be really, really pleased.